Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to a quick tip episode of the Fabricator Series with yours truly. So, one thing I've been getting a lot of questions about recently is uh, you might have seen the picture or possibly even the video of uh, somebody taking a high frequency star TIG welder and uh, setting a nice little arc of electricity straight off of the torch into their finger. Now, you can go out and try this at home if you want and risk getting electrocuted, hurt, turned into bacon, whatever the case is, or you can watch this video. High frequency start on a TIG welder is a nice function which uh, basically means that the machine's going to crank up the juice and uh, send an arc of electricity to the workpiece and uh, prevent contamination. So some of the older machines that don't have a pedal, hand controls, or any kind of amperage control, uh, you actually have to physically touch the tungsten to the workpiece or scratch it or lift it or whatever the case is and that does kind of contaminate the tungsten as you weld. So less sharpening, more productivity, that's what high frequency starts all about. So if you'd like to know how to not turn yourself from uh, original recipe into extra crispy, you need to start by taking your ground lead and throwing it as far away from you as completely possible because you really don't want to <laughs> connect to that one as it's, uh, as it's arcing away here. On top of that, crank up the juice on the, uh, on the machine, also turn on your gas, Point the electrode towards your finger and hit the pedal. To what purpose does this serve? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's kind of a welder's rite of passage, uh, something to do when you got some downtime and you just want to fart around with the machine. Now, some machines are just a little bit more spectacular than others uh, with their high frequencies. In fact, mine's only running on 110 volt input right now, so it's that's about as good as I can get it. So, at least now you know how not to cook yourself from the inside out. So, that's all I have for this episode of the Fabricator Series. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next episode.